Another day with overcast weather. I love it. No, actually I actually don't mind it because it means rain is coming tomorrow, I think. So today we're going to get a cut on the green because we didn't cut it last video. Um, and I'm keen for this. It's looking good. Coming along like a dirty dog. Um, so it, it is pretty long. So again, we're going to cut it down to six mil. Go like that. But today, we're going to take a risk and do what you guys keep telling me to do. And edge and whip a snip or use the landscape blade first. So let's do it. That is all done. Tell you what, I did actually enjoy doing it first. Might be inverted, no. We'll, we'll see how it goes once I cut it down with the cylinder mower. So I did cut it a little bit lower because today with the Rover I'm aiming to cut the ride probably to about 15, 16 mil. So we'll adjust it to that now and then give the the trim pass a go. So the apron and the T. That dog man. White please. Well it worked. Um, so yeah, we'll do this area is here on, but on about 50, we'll go 15 mil, hey? But it does look really tidy after doing that beforehand and doing those edges. Had to go over the edges twice because they hadn't been done for a while. My babe. But anyway, looks good. Looks really, really good. Man, that ryegrass is starting to thicken up too and more bits are starting to germinate. So I'm kind of glad I didn't overseed because it's good to see how much more comes up. Be surprised how much more has come up in the last probably three or four days. And that was just a guesstimate. So <laughs> we'll cut it and see if it's 15 mil. If it's not, whoops. All right, let's give it a cut. Um, see how it turns out. Probably a bit silly because I landscape bladed without knowing what height I was cutting at. Anyway, whatever, let's go. Tidy. Now, I reckon that is pretty dang close, 15 mil. Let's get down the bottom, get down on the grass, like we always do, <laughs> and see how short it is with the ruler. All right, so this really has thickened up. I mean, it looks tight as at this height. It looks like a 15 mil cut to me. You know, I could be wrong. Um, so let's have a squeeze it. I'll tell you what, some are at 15, some are at about 12. So I reckon it's more about I reckon that's about 12 mil, which is what I was aiming to have this at anyway, over the winter time, so, right, so good. So the thing about younger grass like this is, because it's only a month old, is that it's actually easy to train it to get low like this, to get down to 12 mil. Say when this ryegrass over here, since it's a bit more mature, to get it to 12 mil, it would look like it would scalp a bit when you cut into it. But when your grass blades are a little bit younger, they tend to take that lower height of cut a little bit easier, if they've got at least a month's worth of growth on them. Um, don't try doing it at like day eight or day 10 or something like that because you'll pull a lot of the seed out, but yeah. Looks pretty good, man. I'm, I'm happy with how this is progressing. Even the bare spots are starting to fill in without seed. Yes. Now, with the landscape blade, I'll tell you what, we did a pretty good job. We got really, really close for the edges being perfect. I think they, they pretty much are bang on dually, which is good. I don't know what that means, anyway. Um, so have a look at this. That's the edge there. And it's crisp as like crispy crisp. I think like it's pretty much perfect. What a fluke, boy! I like that. It means enough to whip snip now. And it's tidy because I blew all the clippings back onto here so they get picked up by the mower, which is even better. So that's awesome. So I can see that the rye at 12 mil, which I'm saying it is at because it looked like about 12 mil on the ruler, is 
shorter now than the bent so let's go over the bent with the rover at 12 mil and then take it down again with this mower here at 6 mil i'm hoping i can get a putt on this today even if it's a bit patchy let's just see how it's putting All right, so that took a little bit off, not a lot. Um, so I definitely need to go over again with the Toro. Well, we're gonna cut lower as well, so that's the way it rolls. Um, but yeah, it is a little bit wet, which is hard. This time of year, this doesn't really dry out much, which is a bummer. So I'm gonna leave the heat mat off for the rest of the day, because that tends to keep it a little bit more moist throughout the, throughout the day. Um, so we'll give it a cut. We're only gonna give a single cut today at the six mil, or at least just in one direction. We're not gonna go a couple of different directions, just so we don't stress it out too much because it's still as I showed you guys last week got a bit of bruising after the cut so we're going to try to hold off on going too crazy with cutting on this still we're just going to keep trying to get the push along a bit um, with our liquid ferts and stuff and mowing at least I said every two days before but I've decided to go back to every three to four days just to be a safety Sally right so something I just want to double check before we go out mowing is that it's cutting paper because um, if you're cutting this low you really don't want um, to be tearing the glass grass blades because that's when you do get bruising like we did last week. I'm not sure if that's what it was, but um, it, it does become an issue. You see, nah, that is perfect. Cutting all the way along, nice and crisp, so it'll be fine. But yeah, you just got to make sure that it's cutting all the way along or you can damage your young seedlings very easily. A bit off, which I thought I might. Cutting about six mil off this thing. No, not like. Anyway, too much, too much mil. <laughs> but it looks good. Um, well, it doesn't look good. It looks okay. It's getting there. I just need to stop saying it looks good, but it doesn't look good. See, it's in here. Need some more growth to come in. I really would love a bit more growth than it is here, to be honest. Um, but yeah, got to keep just pursuing with it. With the heat mat, not the best temp, so you just got to gotta be patient you know what I mean it's just the way it is just got to be patient um, even through here there's still new stuff germinating a lot of new stuff in there but it could be better so just a waiting game I think we might not get much more germination here we're just gonna have to wait for it to creep um, so I need to start pushing a bit more growth these silly ants now these are ants as well a couple of people said it was worm castings but I've seen little turds little ants what are they called funnel ants making those little mounds everywhere. I've got worm castings in the other yard, which are a pain in the bum as well. Um, but there's definitely funnel ants here, a couple of worm castings here and there, but mostly funnel ants. Um, so I've just been walking out every day and getting a hose and sort of just washing out the mounds when I can, so it doesn't leave that crappy bit of a mess there. Um, but yeah, Lord, it's gonna get there, I think. It'll get there. It just, as I said, is a waiting game. Now, I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but I did miss this area just here, just to give this newly germinated stuff a chance, like this stuff here, to mature up a bit before I actually mow it. So I missed this area, tried to avoid it as much as I could. As you can see, we've got a little bit of black algae here, because it just stayed moist for a little bit too long. So I'm gonna have to try and take the heat mat off a couple of times a day, just to stop there being so much moisture in there, because there's a little bit of algae up that top section there which doesn't look nice and actually a little bit down the bottom as well um just down here so the idea the the reason for that is just because we had all that rain last week and left the heat mat on the whole time which has caused like a little microclimate in there and caused that little bit of algae to come up so yeah i mean i could technically hit it with some iron sulfate but i'll just try to let it dry out with the sun over the next few days and see how it goes if it doesn't work i'll try to attack it but it should be okay but hey, it still, it still is looking good, seriously. Tell you what, let's get a putt on it. Let's get a putt on it and let's putt some balls up there and just see how it's rolling. It might be that great, but let's give it a go anyway. I'm keen to give a putt on it. Um, you can tell though that look at how wet the grass was in some areas. All that chlorophyll too, from that iron I put down the other week. Look at that, it leaves a mess on the concrete. 
That's the thing about cool season grass, it's messy stuff, I'll tell you what. It's everywhere. Mate. Anyway, let's get the putter out. Tell you what, this cup has grown over. That bent grass is definitely grown. Man, look at all these little turds. Little ants. Some of them are... There's even grass underneath that. It's so frustrating. Oh, look at that, there is grass there. Smashes next time I see these Little rats. Anyway, cut around here. Need to really move this cup. And then let's get a putt on. Right. Let's do some putting. Definitely a little bit hairy. Right. Very slow. I'm gonna wrap the video up there, but thank you guys so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Hopefully this keeps on progressing along with that heat mat throughout winter. Ooh, a bit of grass in my mouth. Yuck. And a bit of liquid fertilizer and a bit of, I'm actually thinking about putting down some granular fur on this. Just the bent in the next couple of days because it is protected from the frost and still getting some heat in there. Now I'm just gonna put some inoculate complete down, I think, and see how it responds. So that might be in the, in the coming days. Um, but yeah, really excited for this to come along so I can keep putting on it. But Really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks so much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video if you enjoyed it and you have a good week. Hey, good putt. Good job. Did anybody notice during the middle of that video these socks that I'm wearing? Bright flamingos. So Matt Yarrow across the road gave this to me. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. I actually really like them, even though they're a little bit girly. I love them. Anyway, just wonder if any of you guys saw that during the vid, because they are pretty intense. Anyway, so Yeah, the boys. Good to finally have that back in there. Hopefully I don't take a divot out of the rye. Let's get it man, get it. Oh, flip. This one's for you, Jimmy Lewis. Oh! Bruh!